Hi everyone and welcome back to the Artifix 23 studio. My name is Pietru. If you're new here, this channel is all about bringing you a variety of art related content and to encourage you to always follow your art. If that is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and remember to ring the bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload something new. I'm a lot more active over on Instagram and Facebook, so follow me there to see works in progress, um, finished artworks and lots more. I would like to take a moment to say hi and welcome to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope that you will enjoy all of the art vibes on this channel. Today I'm sharing a sketchbook tour with you with Inktober done and dusted. I filled one of my favorite sketchbooks, which is this Hannah Mueller Cappuccino sketchbook. I love the warm light brown light brown tone of the paper. Um, it just makes any sketch look shiny and bright, especially if you keep it simple. I'll give you a tour of the entire sketchbook, including my Inktober drawings. Um, and I will tell you a little bit more about my Inktober experience and inspirations when we get to them. Some of my Inktober um, drawings turned out pretty good and I actually have a few favorites. Some were not as successful and should actually not be included in this video, but I'll share them with you anyway. Wildlife photographer Steve Bailey graciously gave me permission to use some of his images as a reference and I will leave a link to his profile in the description box below this video as well. Please go and check out his beautiful photography. So sit back and enjoy. I decided on a bird inspired theme. I have a soft spot for our feathered friends so it just made sense to draw as many birdies as I could in one month. Inktober for me is all about getting into a drawing habit and a chance to practice my freehand drawing skills. All of these drawings were done in roughly 15 minutes. I say roughly because that was the intended time limit. Sometimes I managed to complete a drawing in less than 15 minutes other times I spent a bit more time on details. For this Inktober I used a newly purchased set of Derwent Inktense pencils and just as last year I realized that ink is a medium you have to experiment and practice with to get a better understanding of its intricate and fickle behavior. Now the thing to keep in mind about any ink medium is that it's permanent. The brilliant part about any ink medium is that it's permanent. It's easy to confuse ink mediums with watercolor mediums because of the consistency, look and feel of them, but that's where the resemblance ends. I might consider making another video where I'll go in depth about the more technical aspects and differences between these two mediums, but in the meantime, I'd like to encourage you to experiment and play with inks. The possibilities are endless.
of the art materials materials used for most of these drawings in the description box below this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up before you go. I will see you next time and as always, rem remember to follow your art.